Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, boy, we have a lot of things to do. I don't know if we're going to get them all done in this episode, uh, but we're going to have some fun. So, uh, this is my first time recording uh, No Man's Sky since I got back from my trip. The episode that you guys saw on March the 7th, which is when it should come out, I actually had recorded all of that footage before I left for my trip, but I didn't have time to, to to edit it and render it out. So I did that when I got back from my trip last night. Um, so yeah, uh, lots of stuff has happened as you guys saw in the montage there. I did quite a bit of off-camera stuff. I hadn't really intended to do that much off-camera stuff, uh, but it just kind of worked out that way. Um, I basically, what I wanted to do, I had a goal that I wanted to go get all of um, a good supply I should say of indium emerald and cadmium uh, and phosphorus and maybe a couple other things too uh, just because I wanted to have a good stock of, of all those metals and so you know I had to travel to some different star systems some blue star systems green star systems etc etc and along the way just all a lot of that stuff happened um, and so I've you know I, I recorded a lot of it because some of it was pretty cool and I wanted to get that on camera uh, so I could at least show it in the montage. So, yeah, we got a lot to do. Um, as you guys saw in that montage, uh, I have a lot of freighters. Oh, by the way, our, our terminal is now fixed. They, they came out with a, at least two, maybe even three updates uh, while I was gone. You know, fix updates. Fix up. Yeah. Fix. Fixes. I don't know. <laughs> My brain's not working. Uh, for the fractal update. And, of course, one of those fixed the galactic terminal, which is amazing. And um, I want to see if they also... I, I haven't read any patch notes. I just haven't had time. Um, but I want to see if they also fix derelict freighters. Uh, so we'll probably go do a derelict freighter. Maybe not in this episode, but very soon. Just, just to do it for funsies, first of all. But just to see if they fix it. Okay, let's uh, take a look at what's going on with our fleet. So, um, yeah. We'll, let's do... Let's do the debrief first. Okay, so we'll get that out of the way. As usual, if you guys don't want to read the logs all the way through, just fast forward to the end of that part. Okay, we uh, we made some some really good money on on this um, expedition. This was a very long expedition, and it was my first like full full combat mission uh, that I sent our combat frigates on. We we took some damage, which of course we'll have to repair. But let's just see um, all this stuff that we got. I mean, just the credits alone are were two point eight million. <laughs> That's awesome. That's really awesome. Uh, okay. And then if you count, um, I guess they, yeah, they probably dropped everything off of the freighter. You know, if you count this stuff, especially, you know, you know, there's 750, 750,000. Yeah. I mean, we, we did good on that. We did really good. I, I'm digging this, the whole fleet thing, guys. I, I never, you, you know, if you've been watching me along, you know that it, I never really got into that before, but uh, this is a lot of fun, and it's also, you know, becoming very lucrative, too. Now, we haven't, of course, um, made back the money that we've spent to purchase these freighters, but I can see that that's going to happen very, uh, very quickly as we continue on here. Okay, so let's put all that stuff in the exosuit, and we'll pop these in here. 
See, we already have a, a full stack of Magno Gold right there. No, we don't want to put the magnetized in there. We have 2.1 million units of iridescite, and we have 1.3 million units of uh, the geodesite. And some of that stuff's even more valuable if you if you process it. Some of it is better off not being processed. Uh, let's see, we want to put the magnetized ferrite in here. Um, I have like I'm just like I'm so out of space right now. Um, it's a nice problem to have, uh, but I ended up converting this over. Uh, into an overflow container. Um, look at all these nodes here. If I crack all those things open, we got so much money sitting just right there alone. Um, for, and that was just, you know, some asteroid money that I had done earlier. Okay, so let's continue working on the fleet stuff first. There's a lot of other things I want to talk about and show you and do today too, but we'll get the fleets done first. So we also have one damaged vessel in this. I think this was an industrial mission perhaps. It'll tell us here in a second. Uh, this Oh, this was a balanced mission. Okay. So once again, fast forward to the end of the log if you don't want to read it. Nice, salvage frigate module. Okay. Um, Aronium, I think that's new. I don't think we, we've gotten that yet. Got a storage augmentation, a salvage frigate module, activated emerald. Oh, actually, I think we do have aronium. Got some indium and two, just over two million um, cold hard credits or units, I guess they're called. So, yeah, not bad uh, with that deal either. Okay, so let's see here. We're going to go over to the freighter and uh, we'll just transfer all this over to the exosuit. We already know we're going to have to put the Magnetize ferrite in the overflow. Um, so, yeah, we'll put all that over there. And then we'll put these in the crafting storage. Yeah, we already have aronium. Okay, those can go there. And then the iri iridium and activated emerald can go in here. Very good. Okay, so that takes care of the fleets. There's um, quite a few things we're going to do and talk about here in the drop chest, but let's come back to this later. Um, so what we want to do now is we want to go over here and take a look at our fleet. Okay, so we have a total of... Um, Oh, look at that. We got a couple of ships that have graduated to Class B, too. That's fantastic. Um, anyway, we have, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we have 18 frigates so far. We can have a total of 30. Um, so each one of these frigates that we have have been pretty much, according to the guide, There was there's one or two that I got that was just like one point under, and I said, screw it, I'm going to get it anyways. Uh, but most of these, you know, have been according to the guide that we talked about a couple episodes ago. So the ones that are damaged, what we're going to do here is I think we have to go aboard the frigate to repair it, if I am correct about that. It's nice that we can, um, you know, just teleport to it as well. Speak to the captain. 
In our low per captain, we cannot bring you glory in battle for our ship is weak and flimsy. Allow us to serve you. Repair our damage crap. Inspect damage report. Fleet auto di diagnostics report. Urgent maintenance required. Repair drones reaching failure threshold. Core systems at risk. Manual repair required. Mark damage component. Okay. Um. So... I guess that means then that we... How do we get inside of this ship? Oh, right here. Okay. Gotcha. So, I think... We go into one of these rooms, if I remember right. Oh, right here. Systems access panel. This has the damage marker on it. Solenoid. Silver and ferrite dust. Oh, cool. Okay. Same thing here. Yep. No problem. It's funny that I'm the captain of this entire fleet, yet I'm the one in here repairing this stuff. <laughs> not that I might. It's fun, but it's just not super realistic is all. Um, I don't, I've don't. i never been on this ship. Let's just let, take a quick look-see around here. See, I thought we had to come down. Well, we probably will have to come down and repair this stuff at some point, you know, when it be becomes damaged. Yeah, see, oh, this panel needs repairing too. Okay. Damaged cargo pod. Are they all just solenoid damages? Repaired the damaged frigate components. Okay, so we've completely repaired this frigate. Nice. And again, you know, it's it's not it doesn't seem very realistic that I would be down here doing this, but it, it is fun to do nonetheless. Okay. It's like a maze in here. Okay, so we'll go back out this way. Um, over this way. And I think this goes back up to the deck. Up to the flight deck. Yep. Okay. Let's try something. Let's do this diff differently, just for funsies. Um, welcome aboard, Traveler. What? Wait a minute. What does that mean? How many units were received? Return to your ship to to leave the frigate or warp to your freighter via the frigate teleporter. It's not letting me. It's not letting me take off. Return to your ship to leave the frigate. I'm in my ship. It's not letting me take off. Do I have to do something here? Well, the starship's already here. Uh, I'm, I'm corn fuzzled. Okay. We're getting another message here. Yeah, I don't know. Something seems broken there. I know we can just use this, so let's just use this. I was gonna just, you know, launch and fly t directly to the next frigate, but for whatever reason, it's not letting me do it that way. Fine. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and we have a couple more frigates that we need to repair, so everybody's good on that end. So let's go to this one next. This is a combat frigate. Speak to the captain. Gra, our ship may be damaged, but our spirit is undiminished. Nevertheless, interloper captain requiring the damage or repairing the damage would not be a dishonorable act. View the damage report. Modern damage to internal systems detected. 
Manual repairs needed. Crew incapable of performing maintenance. I gotta do everything myself. Mark damaged components. Okay. So let's go down and take care of these. Oh, this is cool, man. Look at this. What a view. I love it. Okay, there's something down that way. Yeah, right here. Engine core. Servo arm. Pure ferrite. Easy enough. Okay. And then... Got more stuff to do. I am. I've, I have to tell you guys, I am so enjoying this game. Uh, when I was on my trip, uh, I watched uh, quite a few uh, No Man's Sky videos on YouTube. I didn't watch anything, you know, that that spoiled the story. You know, got ahead of the story from where I'm currently at. Um, can we go around this way? But I just watched, you know, um, some Let's Plays and some how-to guides and stuff like that. Why can't I get over here? Maybe I'm not supposed to be able to get over here. I, it looks like there's a door there, but it's not letting me do anything. Okay. Um, and, um, so, yeah, just, uh... Really, really enjoying this game. Uh, oh, one I was going to tell you guys, too. One of the things that I watched and really l enjoyed and want to try is um, I want to try permadeath and, you know, do, do some of those challenges and, and try and play the game on the really hard settings and see if we can survive and that sort of thing. Um, so that will be coming up. That's, of course, not going to happen in this series because... You know, we, we are playing survival, but we're not playing, like, super-duper hardcore, you know. Oh, this is cool. Check this out. Defense grid panel. Um, but I would like to either do a separate, you know, Let's Play series or maybe even a live stream series where we play on permadeath. This is so cool, man. Check out our frigates. It's just neat. Neat, neat, neat. Okay, so we still have something else on this ship that needs attention. Um, I'm not spotting it, though. Because I think that hammer icon that we see there, that's... Where is it? Okay, I'm gonna have to look around and see if we can figure out where it's at. Oh, it's down that way. Okay. Yeah, it's 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 right down there. Okay. So we just have to figure out how to get over there. Looks like we go this way. Here we go. Airlock control. Airlock control unit. Servo arm. There it goes. It closed. Clo closed. Closed. Yeah, I... I remember doing this just a little bit. I think I had... I, I had a freighter in the Beyond update. And I think I might have had... I probably just had the one frigate that came with it. And I remember kind of running around on it and stuff. But I never, like, got seriously into to the fleets and stuff. But we're, we're definitely going to do that in this uh, series. Because I'm really enjoying it, A. And it is becoming very apparent that it's lucrative. Okay, so did that repair the ship all the way? Did we get a thingy? Saying it's all repaired. Here, let's see what this says. Our weapon systems are armed and our fighters are ready to scramble. We are at your command. Salute! 
Okay. <laughs> now, can we get, can we take off on our ship here? Interloper captain. Yeah, okay, we saluted. Yeah, it doesn't let me take off. Is that... I, I, that's got to be broken. That can't be right. Huh. Okay, well, let's go back to the freighter then. To the mothership. And um, we have one more that needs to be repaired. And this is our... One of our two B combat frigates. Okay, so this is going to have the same layout as the other one. Okay, inspect damage report. Moderate damage to internal systems detected manual repairs. Yep, did it. Okay, mark them. All right, let's go get them done. Okay, so there's going to be one down there, so let's go do that one first. Um, yeah, we're going to have to go on the other side of the ship. Look at our freighter down there. That's amazing. Here we go. Another airlock control. Transmission box, tritium. Phantasmagorical. Okay. What else we got to do? You know, we should be able to... So cool. We should be able to, like, hire a repair crews or something. Or, it's too bad the support frigate didn't also take care of repairs, but my understanding is the support frigate all it does is provide fuel. Now, I could be wrong about that, and if I am, definitely let me know. There it goes. All right. Okay, I uh, don't see any more marked items, so I think we're done. I think our work here is done. So we'll go back up. And we'll just check the terminal really quick to make sure everything's kosher. Yep. Salute. Okay. Uh, nope. Let's head back to the freighter. Actually, here. I'm going to try this one more time. take off um return return to your ship to leave the frigate oh it, okay i was misreading it. it says return to your ship to leave the frigate or warp to the freighter well no but i am in my ship it's talking about my starship not my freighter i don't know that that seems broken here let me try something else it does the communication thing. What happens if we do leave instead? Nope. Yeah, I, I'm going to say that's broken. That doesn't seem right to me. No, something hopefully they'll fix later. All right, let's head back to the freighter. Oh, 
Okay, I will continue to um, acquire more frigates, uh, but I'll I'll be doing the, you know that pretty much off camera because it's it's a bit tedious. You guys have already seen me do it multiple times now. Um, so I think it's time for us to send these guys back out. Let's just look at the squadron one more time, or the fleet, rather. Um, okay, so everybody's in good repair. We've got two that have graduated to B, which is fantastic. And um, it's too bad you couldn't sort these according to their class. But um, actually, here, I, wanna, I do want to look at one more thing. In terms of balance, I think I probably have more combat... Oh, so that changed to a Corvette and a cruiser from a frigate. That's interesting. I wonder if if once if they'll turn into like battleships and destroyers and that sort of thing as they continue to level up. Um, all right, so anyway, we've got one, two, three, four, five combats and four explorations. Six, seven combats. Five, six explorations and four industrials. So trade vessels are the ones I really need to look for because um, I only have the one, I only have one of those. I did, if you guys noticed this in the montage, I did let my original trade vessel go because it was just, or no, that wasn't a trade vessel, that was an explorer. Um, it started off with negative traits and it got damaged and I said, you know what, screw it, I'm just going to let it go and get something better. So there, there you go. Let's talk to this guy. All right, what do we got? You know, the next one of you Viking that calls me an interloper, you're gonna you're gonna get spaced. That's all there is to it. Okay, view potential expeditions. You guys need to respect the captain, man. Um, okay, so this is all we've got. We've got two combats, a trade, and a balanced and industrial. Okay, so why don't we do this? Let's go. Let's choose the combat, and I'm going to send the two B classes on that one, and uh, it's it's an even, uh, as far as the fleet rating goes, it's even Steven there. Okay, so let's send them on their way. Okay, now for the other combat, which is only a one star, you know what I should have probably, well, actually here's what we'll do. Um wait a second. Here we go. These are these are all of our combats. Okay, so the ones with the higher points. Let's send this one and this one. Okay. And that actually bumped the fleet rating up to three. So a little, we're a little overpowered there, but it's better to be overpowered than underpowered. Now, we have a trade expedition. So what we're going to do now is we're going to obviously send our trader, our trading vessel on that one, uh, which is here. But let's also have him be accompanied by a combat vessel and... Maybe a couple combat vessels. Okay. And then we have a balance and an industrial. So what we'll do with the industrial is we will send... Um, you know what? I should have sent... I probably should have sent more out on the first one because I'm not going to be able to get them all out now. All right, so what we'll do then is we'll do three mining vessels. We'll send them one combat frigate. And we'll send them two science vessels. Yeah. Okay, and then the final one we have is... Oh! You know what? We need, yeah, we need more um, uh, command thingies. Okay, so let's go here, and we want to go to 
fleet command room. I want to make sure it's turned that way, I think. Right, okay. So that gives us five fleet command rooms now. Okay, and then for this balanced one, we will send uh, the combat, the these guys here, and this science vessel. So yeah, I should have I should have sent a, at least one more ship, obviously, with the first two guys, but that's okay. It is what it is. All right, very good. We got all of our frigates off on their way. If I build another command room, that doesn't open up another... I don't think that opens up another fleet, does it? Because the other one was still available to us. We just couldn't use it until we did our command rooms. Our, our fleet command stations. Love that man, the, the holographic image of the ships on the trip and all that. <laughs> so cool. Okay. These are our, our two star ships right here. Um wait, are they? No, these guys. These are our two our two uh B class. So I'm excited to see how well they do. Alright, you guys, my goodness, time goes by too fast. So I think what we're gonna do is time to do anything real substantial um before i let you go uh, i want to yeah no never mind we'll do that in the next episode <laughs> let's just take a look at what's in here so i have 17 salvage frigate modules which is just absolutely phantasmagorical um and i have discovered that the best way to get these is piracy and so I've been blowing up ships, and you saw me do a little bit of that in the montage, um, because it just seems to be the the absolute best way to get these things. Um, so we're going to start using these to ex uh, to get some of the, the the tech for our freighter and continue expanding the freighter out. Um, you know what? Though before we do that, let me save here. Okay, and we also have. Let me see here. We also have uh, four cargo bulkheads, and we also have storage augmentations um, for our ship back. Let's take those with us. We don't want those to stay on the freighter. And our multi-two expansion slot we should take with us too, um, because we'll need to go to, to the space station for that. Uh, so let's get these things applied right now. Add additional storage. Why is that grayed out? Um, do those have to be in my inventory? Yeah, I guess they do. That's odd. I mean, it can pull everything else out. But apparently not this. Okay. So, um, what I want to do is... I'd kind of like to fill out this tech. And I th think... I think that's what we're actually going to do. So let's just fill out the tech with the cargo bulkheads. Um, at least to here. Excellent. And that opened up another turbo slot for us, too. High power slot, whatever you want to call it. Okay, now, um, let's go to... What happens when you, we do this? Do we get all of our stuff back that we, you know, spent on the rooms if we reset it? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do another save point here. I'm just curious about that. 
Existing freighter base will be destroyed. No resources will be salvaged from disassembled parts. Confirm reset. Why would I want to do that? What what would be the purpose of doing that, you guys? I I don't get it. Existing freighter base will be destroyed. No resources will be sal salvaged from disassembled parts. Um Maybe in multiplayer if you wanted someone you wanted to give someone a ship but they wanted you to reset it so they can start fresh. I don't know. That doesn't I'm having a hard time understanding why you would want to do that. <laughs> Especially since you don't get your stuff back. I mean, you're better off to, to go manually disassemble everything, so at least you get the resources back, you know, from all the stuff that you built. So, yeah, I don't get it. Anyway, okay, whatever. Um, let's go to base parts and upgrades. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, some of these are pretty darned expensive, but I really would like our ship to be able to you know go into the uh, the green blue and, and red star systems this would be useful to have too because this is the one that allows us to scan the whole system from the ship and I think these give us yeah, these give us like little mods. I think they're one-time use mods that we can use for our freighters. But let's uh, I'm, there's a, there's some stuff here I want to get though too. So let's look at this first. The scanner room, yeah, that's the one that lets us scan all of the planets in the system instead of having to go to each one manually. I'm pretty sure we want that. What does this do? A spacious chamber with technical aesthetic for expanding inhabitable spaces. I think, yeah, I think this is just aesthetic. Well, it says that. <laughs> Duh. Let's let's do, let's stick with function over form for now. But we'll eventually get the fancy schmancy stuff too. So I I want a scanner room. Cool. Okay. Um. What is this? Oh, no, that's the personal appearance one. No, I don't care about that. Um, this is... That's aesthetic. Stellar extractor room. Right, that's the thing that will pull, like, resources from... from the system. And Yeah, that's one that lets us bring Exocraft with us. I want that for sure. We're probably going to get just about all of these, to be honest with you. Let's get the Stellar Extractor Room. Oh, uh, what is this? Okay, that's just fancy schmancy stuff. This is Biological Room. Double Cultivation Chamber. Nutrition Room. This is the one that allows us to cook on the ship, I think. Yeah, okay, we want that for sure. Um... So what is this? This spacious greenhouse chamber naturally filters and oxygenates the air supply and offers a little sanctuary of green in freighter habitation. So this is probably just dec decorative. I don't think that's functional. And that that doesn't mean we won't do it, but uh, but I think a double cultivation chamber makes sense so that we can start maybe planting some of the high-end stuff. So let's grab that. Okay, so that's just fancy schmancy stuff. That's appearance modifier. That's fancy schmancy. That's all aesthetic, and I think this is all just different building parts that we might do at some point. Okay, uh, I don't care about the color stuff, so now let's get on to the expensive things. How many... Okay, we have 12 modules left. So this is going to a temporary frigate upgrade that lasts for one expedition. That saves on fuel. It's unfortunate that we have to learn this because fuel is so cheap. But we have to learn this to unlock these. And I do think we want that stuff. But let's focus on the, the freighter first and we'll worry about the frigate later. So I think we want the matter beam for sure. 
uh, because that will uh, interplanetary transport of matter as well as data. Freighters fitted with such a device can send and receive products and substances to a user's exosuit over a long distance. That sounds extremely useful. I think we want that. Okay. And what does this do again? So this is basically the combat and ec economic scanner from the frigate. Useful, but not necessarily something I want right away. I think I want to focus on the warp drive stuff. So we're obviously going to have to get this. This is, it just extends our hyperdrive range. Um... Okay, and then, ah, we're out. Okay, we don't have enough. So what does this do? That, that'll that give us access to red stellar, green stellar, and blue stellar. These are expensive, my goodness, look at that. It's gonna take us 24 salvage frigate modules to unlock this in total. What does this do? That increases our range by 300 light years, and that increases our range by 800 light years. Okay, these are relatively inexpensive, so why don't we just unlock these now? And then we have two more salvage frigate modules. Mind control. The mind control device plugs in the ship's trading and communication system and allow the fleet commander to gain the upper hand in any negotiation. So we would want that That seems awful cheaty. <laughs> the powerful uh, an analytic computer overclocks the existing fleet systems line for faster than light calculations. Heat is a problem the chips do not last long. Oh, holographic analog. Well, but what does it do though? Overclocks the existing fleet systems, allowing for faster than light calculations. Does that shorten their time on the mission? That's probably what that means. A mineral compressor allows fleet mining crews to liquidize faster processing and easier transportation. Okay, so maybe we get more product when they have that. Autonomous explosive been programmed to launch from the fleet and pilot system. Okay, so this is going to be for probably for our combat dudes and why we want to be farming Walker brains. All right, um, we have we can get two of the four of these. So. Let's get this cheaty mind control business, and let's get uh, let's get the explosive drones. Okay, and that spins all of our points of our salvage frigate, and I'm just going to be doing a lot of pirating. Um, I've I've pretty much tried to stay, you know, uh, on the Gex bad side. <laughs> I mean. I have pop, been known to pop a couple of salvage frigates off of a Viking or a, a Corvax ship, but it's the Gek who I'm, you know, I mostly prey upon. And of course, it's best to do that in a pirate system so you don't got to screw with the dumb sentinels at the same time. Uh, but I'll be doing a lot more of that. And you know, doing that is also lucrative. I mean, you can make five, ten million in ten minutes uh, just off the stuff you get off those guys too. Uh, but that's not the main reason I'm doing it. The main reason I'm doing it is, is so that we can, um... Uh, no, I want to go here. Uh, so we can get more salvage frigate modules. Plus, you know, our fleet's been bringing them back, too. Not a lot, but they do bring some back. Okay, so, now, why don't we... Um... I don't know if there's, if we install this into a turbo slot, does it just extend its range? Um, the warp core resonator, that, that will definitely extend the range. So why don't we do this? Let's move this over to here and we'll install, install the warp core resonator thingy in here. And it looks like we already got all the stuff for it. Beautiful. Okay, so that increased um, our warp range, our hyperdrive range, up to 566.9. Just out of curiosity, without this, um, yeah, see, putting it next to that gives us almost another 100 light years. And then if we package this, now we only have 157. Very cool. Okay, and then we're going to install the matter beam in here because it's the only other thing we can install for now. 
So we need, oh my goodness, look at all the wiring looms, wiring looms that that sucker needs. Okay, antimatter beams. All right, I'll, I'll take care of this off camera, uh, but I'll get the this stuff installed um, so that our matter beam uh, will be functional, which will be extremely useful. Okay, you guys, um, uh, before we, before I let you go, we have a couple more rooms that we want to get installed. So let's look at this. We got the galactic trade room. Uh, we got the teleport, the scanner room. Let's install the scanner room. Here for now. It's not necessarily going to stay here. That is really useful, man. Especially, I mean, because look, there's like five planets that I would have had to fly around and, and scan individually. Does it, uh... No, I didn't like... Wait a second. It didn't like scan... No way. Are you telling me it's it scanned all the fauna and stuff on these planets too? I mean, I've been well. I've been on a lot of these planets though, getting stuff. So I might have. Okay, no. So it didn't. It didn't scan any of these animals here. I must have just scanned the ones on that planet that we looked at earlier. Okay, cool. Let's um, let's just upload all of this. 163 nanites. So that's cool. And yeah, we got that. Now we also got. What else did we get? So we got the fleet command, the scanner room, the teleport chamber, science specialist, construction, galactic trade room. Um, so the nutrition room. This is like our kitchen. This is going to be the galley. Um, I'm wondering if. Why don't we do this instead? Let's move this. Yeah, let's move this. Uh, let's see. I'm going to move this over to here. And then we'll put the... We'll put the galley in here. Oh. Nutrient processor. Look at that. Okay, cool. And it links up with our, our storage back in our, at our base. Fantastic, man. Look at that. Okay, awesome. Um, and then, let's see. We have another room over here that's not being used for anything at the moment. We could, if we wanted to, start... A cultivation chamber there oh no no we got this we've got two more rooms we got to put in right okay um, so stellar extract room and an orbital exocraft materializer um let's put the stellar extractor room here whoops That is cool, man. So this is going to gather all of these things just from space, which means we probably at some point want to put a bunch of these in. Uh, we're just going to go with the one for now. <laughs> I'm loving this game so much, you guys. Oh, man, I'm loving this game. Okay, so... Did I... Wait a minute. Did I move that over too far? Oh, I did. I actually wanted to put it... Okay, hold on a sec. Let's go back to here. I actually wanted to put it in here. Target part fleet commander. Wait, no, 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 no. Hold on. No, stop it. Why does it keep doing that? Stop it! 
Okay, I want to move this. Cannot delete. No, I'm not trying to delete. I'm trying to move it. There. Now, I just want to move it over to here. There we go. And probably want to turn it the other way, too. No, 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 not that way. It's like... It's like flipping twice. I don't want it to flip twice. I want it to go this... No! Why, why is it doing that? I want it to go so it's facing. It does. It, it won't face. It'll face every direction except for this direction. I don't get it. I wanted this part to be in the front. See all the gecker in here now looking for lunch. They're hard work working dudes, so they need some food. Um, okay, so now let's make let's put the exocraft thingy in here. Uh, we need three warp cells. Okay, we should be able to make those no problemo. Gonna need um gonna build missing components. What are we missing? Antimatter, okay. So let's make two no two of those and then two of those. Okay, now we should be able to build that. I I wanna at some point I wanna start messing around with the Minotaur. Uh, and the Nautilus, too, for that matter. Okay, so... Orbital... Craft room thingy. Probably want to go in that direction. Hey, how does this work? How do I get my exocraft here? Oh, maybe I have to be in the system where the exocraft is. I might have to warp back to the system to do that. Okay. Now, let's try this one more time. I want this thing facing the other way. Why? I don't know. I just do. So, pick it up. Turn it that way. <laughs> it does not want to go that way. It probably has something to do with the doorways. Yeah. I bet you that's what it is. Okay, well then, whatever. We'll just do it that way. And yeah, I think it has something to do with connecting to the, these doorways here. So that's probably it. Okay, guys. We have made some pretty fantastic upgrades to our freighter here. And um, so... I'm pretty happy with how everything is uh, coming together here. At some point, I'm going to want to upgrade to one of those big capital ships, though, so I'm not sure. Here's a question for those of you who know. Let's say that we, we, we get into our next um, help come and save me from the pirate thingy, you know, that gives us the option then to, to trade for the freighter. And so, let's say I do that and I find a better freighter than this one. If I trade, 
I probably, I'm guessing that I'm going to lose all of these rooms that I set up in here. The storage, we shouldn't lose any of that because that will also be back at our base. But for example, if I, um, if I take the nutrient processor out, so if I delete it, we get all, you know, all of the, those materials back, or I don't know if we get all of them back, but we get some of them back. Anyway, um, so here, let's put the, the kitchen back. So my question then is if I, if I trade for a new freighter, my assumption is I lose all of these rooms that we put in here and all of the materials that we went in to build it. Um, or does it give you an option to, you know, reclaim all of that stuff first? Let me know uh, if you would, because like I said, at some point I'd like to upgrade to one of those really big capital ships when we come across one. I'm not worried about losing my stuff, because I know that'll be okay, but yeah. I'm, I'm a, we, you know, we would lose all of, all of this stuff that we did too. Well, no, we wouldn't have to relearn it. We, we would already know it. We just have to rebuild it, which is not as big of a deal. So, anyway. Okay, well, I need to let you guys go here. And um, so, in the next episode, there... What are we going to do? There's something I want to show you back at our our planet side base that I discovered um, by watching another video. Uh, so, I'm going to show you that. And then, maybe what we'll do is we'll, we'll actually go do a derelict frigate. And um, so in the meantime, I'm going to go uh, teleport to the space station. I'm going to add two more slots to my spaceship and another slot to my multi-tool. I also want to go to the anomaly and get the version 3 Atlas Pass, just so we have it. Um, so we'll probably do that, which means we're going to need salvaged, um, salvaged data, or whatever, salvage modules, these thingies. Yeah, salvage data. So I'm just going to actually grab a stack of those, <coughs> excuse me, and um, yeah, we'll go from there. So I'm going to let you go. I know I keep saying that, so I need to actually let you guys go. So thanks, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video, and we will catch you in the next episode. See ya.